YouTube. Oh, I finally get to use some more uh, 2N2222s and 2N3907s. Complementary pairs. I hope I've got that right now. 2907, yep. For this little tiny amplifier circuit. Nothing overly complicated. Uh, got the complementary pair there. We've got the, the collector feeding into the base here. We've got our voltage difference between the two transistors using these two diodes. And we can connect up our 8 ohm speaker to this. We've got input here, should probably put a little. We also want to have an input here as well. And that's, oh, and that's where we're going to connect uh, positive side of the signal and the ground side of the signal to this. So I've built up the circuit. Now I've got to use um, three 10 ohm resistors here because here it wants 3.3 ohms and I don't have any 3.3 ohms so I've just put 10 in, in parallel together giving me 3.33 and and that's the only that was the only snag with the circuit now any of these these as far as I can understand you can use any of these small signal transistors as long as you've got a complementary pair and something like a 2N2222 uh, to go there you should be okay and it only requires nine volts to work. Now it's not going to be the most, um, you know, the greatest loudness or even greatest sounding, but just for a little amplifier circuit just to play around with, um, it's okay. You can build it on one of these little tiny boards. So let's put some connections to it. Let's find the audio source and power it up. And I should have probably done that first actually. But fingers crossed, it'll work. This is the first thing I notice about this when I connect up the connector. That's a good sign, right? Let's give it a little bit of music. We've got a track here ready. Now it's not going to be the loudest, of course. It's um, not very capable. You've really got a. I think these two N two 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 and the other one can dissipate about half watt. Um, and can probably run to about eight hundred milliamps. If I remember correctly, I'm just trying to find something else to. Put on. I have no idea. But it works. It's not too uh, full blast. Yeah, there's, there's a bit of distortion there, but. Okay, after rooting around a little bit of my browser history I, uh, I managed to come across a circuit and there it is it's from circuits.com circuitsdelay.com which is the same as quite a lot of those other particular websites from that chap who calls himself a professional blogger and just uh, makes multiple websites so, uh, um, what I did as well as I made a couple of changes was I took out the little transistors and I put a, um, that's a D822 and that's a D722. So again, um, complementary NPM, PMP. And I also, because it was the first time I'd ever seen actually where you've got such a big input capacitor. Normally, I've seen like one one microfarad, and this one was 470, and I noticed that it had a bit, of, quite a bit of distortion. 
um, as you could hear, you know, in the, in, in the video. Thought I had my front door being knocked. Um, so yeah, uh, so I've changed that and I tried playing around. Now I know um, that the bigger capacitor would have least lesser resistance. So putting in the, the one microfarad, I think I've got like a 1K resistor there in line with the audio input. But because it was, um, you know, you could hear it. You, you can hear it just before you know, this bit when the music's on and the previous bit of video. Um, you could hear the distortion and I did I did leave it like that first and I just thought no I'm going to change it and then I I stuck in like a, um, this is a, a one microfarad uh, but it doesn't it's almost like it loses a bit of roundness of sound if you know what I mean without the electrolytic I tried a hundred nanofarads and of course it just made it tinier because that's more like a 10k resistor um, so let me just connect up the audio source again and I'll show you there's not a great deal of difference don't get me wrong we're not talking like banging hi-fi now um, <laughs> but it's just that subtle little bit so you can have it that little bit um, and that loudness without so much distortion I should say so let me just connect up and I'll show you okay so I'm going to use the same songs as well uh, we're still on 9 volt, or thereabouts. Uh, well, he will always have to open his mouth. If you see me, the same, she will always come out. I think it's getting serious this time. Someone better run the call 999. To get to the yeah. water every time that we try. We're about to turn the crime because we're going to just, get by. Right. There, before, we had distortion. I'm, I'm hoping that the audio levels um, from you know, the previous sort of clipping video that's the right terminology I've got no idea if the audio levels are going to be the same but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty convinced it's uh, pretty much the same so um, I'm just gonna just go up another little bit louder we all God knows how many thousand and five we stare towards the front but only see to the side and everybody sees the evil devious minds if the people are the power can the power not shine oh, it always rains in England okay. and that's what just getting back to getting the distortion now, but that's uh, that's definitely louder, um, or not so much. Well, yeah, it is a little bit louder, but um, it just doesn't have the amount of distortion, it, it certainly doesn't have the amount of distortion. Uh, and if I can use it at 12 volts as well, even at 12 volts, it'll take more like 72 milliamps, and um, we get even less distortion, which I suppose are about figures. Uh, let me just try a couple of different songs. This one's not so good because you know, this is mono, so you only get to hear half the sounds, and this is uh, it's got a lot of bass on this, and so you don't really get to hear it on this so much. Hmm. Just gonna try and find a song that I know is quite bad. Oh, that's probably a bit. In actual fact, that's not quite a. I'm just gonna try and get it to a song that I know that's pretty good. Uh, actually, that this one's pretty good. It's a pity that we haven't got another channel because really you should be able to hear the. Dum, 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 dum. Not really as rounded off as what those speakers are, but they take a bit more power to drive them. And they're not that great on response, to be fair. They're not really, you know, speaker speakers. They're not really forward facing jobbies. They're supposed to be like behind you, I think. So, um, let me just find another, another track that's got a bit dynamic. Now that's pretty loud. I mean, that is. That would be too loud. Especially if you have. We're going to turn it down. Especially if you had the two speakers, two channels. That's pretty damn loud. That, that is, that's pretty loud. That's um, more than enough for comfortable lis listening to. Especially through this rubbish little setup. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, yeah, I, I like sitting back sometimes and listening to music. But... So, 
so yeah the rest of this is just it's all you know it's all like open source music that's why i have this on here it's not because i particularly sit and listen to it i think this is actually from um from my phone i'm not sure yeah so anyway enough of all that so yeah that, that's that that makes a definite improvement a definite improvement and i'll show you i'll just show you the difference now between sticking like a the 100 nanofarads in oh let me just have it out of volume so we can just compare it i know i miss a particular song that i like or tune i should say it's just quite good for let's recognize that Right, it's gonna be like I'm probably trying to find a tune that I want. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. I can't understand the word the same, but I, I just quite like the, the beats behind it. Uh, I'm just gonna pause this for a second and find a particular tune I want because otherwise we're gonna be here all day doing this. Um so yeah, anyway, I, I found this tune because I think it was played on the previous clip. And I like this because it's got quite a lot of dynamics. And this, this while I'm playing, shouldn't really reflect what I listen to. I'll listen to anything as long as it sounds nice. And to be honest, I've got no preference. I won't say I'm particularly into this or I'm particularly into that. I just listen to anything as long as it sounds nice. Um, the more I like depth, I like soul in my music um, rather than pop. Yeah. If you know the difference, you're probably there with me on this. Um, but I quite like this because it's got a lot of um, a lot of different dynamics, and it's open source. Again, all this music is open source. I'm going to skip forward a bit just in case uh, for some reason it becomes copyright. I can turn that up. Okay, losing. Again, a bit of distortion there, but but honestly, that could be down to this speaker as well. I have tried different speakers. I tried this is why I've got this this lead on here now. I connected it to my you know the, the bigger speakers up there. I connected it to this. It sounds all right through this. It's all those injuries are just the tone slightly because of the different speakers and of course how the speakers are positioned as well like that sounds completely different to like that. In an enclosure of course it will sound completely different to what it does. Not in an enclosure, otherwise we don't have speakers with no enclosures. Uh, yeah, that's all right. And it doesn't really raise too much on the on the uh, milliamps there. It's, it sticks around when it's first cold. It's probably about forty-seven. It goes up to about 52, like that, 53 maybe, and it sort of like just sits around there, so it's got its warming. Uh, this transistor, although it's not hot, I can feel a bit of warmth off it, and I can feel it more than I can feel on that one. Uh, okay, little, okay, little, um, little project to build. Well, maybe not project as such, but a little circuit to build, and it and it actually does work. And it works better in this configuration than what it does, uh, or at least with the values um, there. I have I played around. I you know I swapped out the 22 ohm from the uh, emitter uh, to ground just to see what the differences would be. And there are differences, but none of them have really improved. Second, um, bigger resistors on, putting less resistance on. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. What I was going to do as well was do this, wasn't I? Oh, I forget what I'm doing now. So let me just play that. Let me just turn it to this. Okay. Just bring my light down a little bit so I can see the pills. Just whip that out. I'm going to put this um, 100 nanofarads in because you get to hear straight away the difference. Big difference really isn't there now where's that 470 which is what is on the actual um, circuit I'm gonna put that in let's whip that out 
Doesn't matter which way that goes around, of course, because it's non polarity. This one it does. Uh, check out the other one around. Oh, get in the hole. So you can uh, see the big difference there. If I turn it up, we got distortion now. Like it's, like it's ripping at the edges. And if I take that out again, I'll put this one back in the one microphone, which I think is uh, personally, which I think is better. Uh, let's go the other way around, just to make sure that's what we're doing. I hope you can see what I'm doing because I'll keep looking at the circuit rather than the camera. <laughs> No ripping, same volume, but no, none of that ripping at the edges of the sound. I don't know if that's the right terminology for that either. I don't suppose it is, I'm just making this up as I go along. But there's uh, there's a, definitely a difference on the distortion type thing. Right, that's it, this video's gone for way too long. Um, yeah, there you go, it's a circuit that works. So anybody that's, you know just wants to build up a little tiny circuit and have a little play around with it. That one does there, look, it's um, circuitstoday.com uh, low cost amplifier circuit using, I suppose I was going to say three transistors. Okay. Anyway, guys, cheers for watching and uh, see you in the next one.